Kylie the Jellyfish. Today, as you can see, I have some really cool hair, and this is not a wig, as you can see as well. I can pull on my hairline and it's not going to fall off, because today my hair is done for prom, and my makeup is done for prom. Prom is in like eight hours, so I don't know why I'm ready this early, but I thought let's just make a video because I need to get it out of the way anyways and I have time. Today I'm going to be telling you about how I dyed my hair gray ombre. In this video I will be addressing another video that I will be posting at some point about how I ruined my old pair of hair extensions. You know, the ones that I turned like bright pink. Them, I did something horribly wrong. You guys can click that video right there if it's up already. I ruined my hair extensions and I freaked out, emailed VP Fashion about it. Senior prom is in two weeks and I have no hair extensions. I don't know what to do. I was freaking out. They were so nice and generous and they sent me a new pair of hair extensions. They gave me the ones with the black threading and clip at the top because they know I have dark roots, which I was super grateful for because it's so much more helpful. It's just so nice having a fresh pair of hair extensions for like a special event like your senior prom and graduation which is in like another week. If you guys are interested in ordering from them, you can go ahead and click on the description below. You can use my discount code JELLYFISH for $10 off. Talking about the hair dye I got, I got this hair dye all from arcticbuffalo.com which if you look it up is actually a plug website like for earplugs and I order all my plugs from them as well but you can also buy merchandise from them, uh, makeup and hair dye and that's actually where I get all my hair dye. Link is in the description as well as my discount code JELLYFISH for 20% off. That's 20% off any hair dye you want or plugs. Enough with the chit chat, I'm going to get into the actual tutorial. I have about four colors in my hair extensions and real hair right now. So going from the top, I have done my roots of the hair extensions like a dark brown and since I didn't actually go out and buy a dark brown neither Lunar Tides, Arctic Fox or Manic Panic sell any brown colors so I actually just mix together colors myself. I have Transylvania which is Arctic Fox's black color and it's kind of blue purpley based so I mixed in Orange Sunset, their orange color, and Neon Moon, their uh, one of their yellow colors. Mixing those all together made like a brown that is similar to my hair. The majority of this hair, which is the darker color, it's like the darker gray color, is made of mostly slate gray by Lunar Tides, a little bit of blue steel from Manic Panic, a drop of Transylvania from Arctic Fox, and a little bit of silver lining also from Lunar Tides. I mixed all of that together. I color melted the next color into it, which is the lighter gray, it's kind of more of just like, I called the this middle section right here gray and then this bottom section right here silver um, because I mean silver is like brighter and, and more um, metallic obviously. The silver color is made of mostly silver lining by Lunar Tides, Blue Steel by Manic Panic, and Sterling by Arctic Fox and a little bit of arctic mist diluter and I think I put in a little bit of conditioner too because instead of arctic mist diluter you can use conditioner you can use um, the pastelizer by Manic Panic or Virgin Snow by Manic Panic Lunar Tides also has a white color and those are really diluters so that if you have a really pigmented color and you want it to be more pastel you can add that in um, so then the last color in my hair I have to get up like this a little bit so this very ends of my hair like I cut I cut this um, to kind of blend in with my hair a little bit more so that's why it looks a little different than in the video that you'll see me dyeing it but this was actually supposed to be red I put Wrath which is the red color by Arctic Fox that's more pink toned than orange toned I think Poison is more of a true red um, but I already had Wrath so I used that I used a little bit of purple rain, I think like just a drop of it. Also put in a bit of brown color that I mixed together for the roots, but I putting it majority of like the color right here. And then I color melted it up into this section up here, it just kind of like bled up and diluted itself um, with the other colors. 
so it ended up being pink where it transitioned and then that was the part that I kept so I basically cut off all of the red part and then just pink was left over so I'm really fine with it because it kind of matches my nails a little bit um, the color is actually not similar to the roses I'm going to be wearing for prom but my makeup matches it a little bit and so does my nails and my toenails so I think I'm fine I, I really I'm fine with this color and other people said it was too cute to try to fix because I might mess it up if I try to fix it more I laid down the extensions on foil like I usually do um, some of these clips are from work because I had to do it at work since I didn't have time uh, after school because I was always doing projects because it's the end of the year and I'm finally graduating one thing I really struggled with was making sure there was no patchy areas because this these hair extensions are so thick like they are so thick with three C's bro like I do have some patchier areas but can't really see them like they're all on the roots but on like the inner side like it's facing my head so you can't really tell but I can tell when I look at them when I take them off and it freaks me out because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist so sometimes you just gotta live with it but yeah, um, if you guys want to see how I styled my hair too, I also have a video of me doing that. I actually just filmed it, so I don't have it edited yet. The video will be linked in right here on this card. I hope you guys like my hair. Let me know in the comments if you do, or let me know in the comments what colors I should do next, because the next color is going to be something for Warp Tour, and I really want to be colorful and bright. And um, I'm, I'm excited to kind of see what I can do with that. If you have any questions, also leave those below in the comments. And like this video if you found it fun and entertaining in any kind of a way. Subscribe to me if you haven't already because I post a lot of videos and I'm going to be posting way more this summer now that I have time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Stay epic. Bye.